Uh, welcome to the home base meetup for Go Open. Um, I'm going to ask a, a little bit of a different question this morning. Um, I believe I have on here, let me see here. I'm going to say Tara. If I mispronounce your name, please let me know. Tara, Marka, Jan, and Crystal are the ones here that are not from DPI. I'm going to ask you all a question. Please raise your hand or put it in the chat. Um, are you familiar with home base and what home base is? Um, we had a different idea of what we were going to do this meeting. So what I am probably going to do is just kind of jump around a few slides because this is such a small group, uh, which this one tends to be. I'm going to do things just a little bit differently. Uh, right now, and hopefully you will be okay with that. I'm going to breeze through a couple of slides real quick that just kind of explains a few new things about this. And then I'm going to shift it to Corey and Carrie and let them do the go open conversation that they want to have with you. The good news is I don't think we're going to be here two hours today. You're going to drive a lot of this conversation. Um, this is very much a transition meeting. So, as many of you know, Pam Batchelor left and went to um, Johnston County, and now Corey McNeil is coming in, and he's already done really good things. We had a very good conversation on the Canvas Home Base Meetup yesterday. So, I'm going to share on the open slides just a few things. I'm going to share my screen. Um, I do need to accept share screen looks a little different today. That was. Not sure why. So I am sharing my screen and hopefully all of you can see my screen. You see the home base slide there? Yes. Um, yes. Thank you. I do want to just tell you here's the, you have the chat, which is everybody. Edit questions, hit QA. You can turn your microphone on and off, which we're going to ask that you do for today because it is such a small crowd. You can turn your camera on and off. Uh, and in the bottom, if you need the assistance, you can add the captions uh, if you need to. And then I am going to, let's see, we're going to go to the overview. I think you guys know the purpose I will cover. We really like these meetings. This is a great time to give us feedback. Uh, especially today with such a small crowd, I think we can get some really good conversation with you. Um, there was our schedule we had. Here are the next home base meetups, which you see the next one is lined up for mid November. And then uh, there's Corey there. You will see him again that he's coming over to manage Open and he's coming over to manage Canvas, which is fantastic. Uh, I do ask that you take this home base survey link. I'm going to send it out to everybody in power school next week, but I would really like to have you tell us whether we're doing a good job with home base, what improvements we need to make. As I believe it's important we hear from you if we have everything right and if we don't what we need to change. I absolutely want you to know all our call signs. And I really want you to know this is our team. Our team is very good. They're here to help you. I hope you understand that. And I hope we have been that helpful to you um, in providing you resources and just being there whenever you needed a hand. It's very, um, it's a different world working in education right now. And we just want to make sure we're here to help you make it through. We do ask when this is over to please give us a plea there uh, for home base uh, meetup feedback. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen. So I believe Corey and Carrie, I think you guys can probably take it from here from what I looked at today. Are you comfortable doing that? That's fine with me. Okay. Um, please, I do ask, remember this is a transition meeting. If you have been to these before, this is a little bit different. Before I give it to them real quickly, Crystal, can you tell us how long you've been using Go Open? And are you new to this? I am new to this, yes. 
Okay, good. So our county's kind of in a transition as well. So uh, this is Johnston County, and so Pam yeah. is here with yeah. us, and we're fortunate to have her. Um, yeah. And so she and I are just um, collaborating on a lot of. Outstanding. She's a great resource for you to have. Yep. Um, Janet, are you new to go open? Is this new for you as well? Um, no, not really. We've had it actually in our county for a little bit, but it's just not something that I feel like our teachers are using um, as much. So I'm trying to promote it as much as I can during my PDs, but I really do love it. I think it's a good resource, but it's not well, too new well. for us. We are actually going to talk about that during this meeting because I agree with you. I think a lot of people don't know what it is or what's out there. And that's one of the focuses that I think Corey wants to look at as well. And then Tara, is this new for you as well? I'm in the same county as Jan. Um, so it's not new for us, but I'm in a new role. So it is new for me in this position. Well, this should be a great meeting then as we transition with, with Carrie and Corey taking over. I want to thank you all for being here. I do ask that you in this transition period, this is really to help Corey get a leg up of, of things that you think he needs to tackle or handle, or we could help you with. So please be, do what you just did there. Let us know your thoughts and let us know what you're thinking. And we will um, see you soon. Thank you very much for participating today, Corey and Gary. Thanks Rob. Uh, well, good morning, everybody. Um, like Rob said, this is kind of a transitional thing for me. Um, uh, I can give you a little bit of my background. So I started in K-12 uh, as a classroom teacher. I taught high school chemistry. Um, so uh, that's where I kind of got my start, moved into uh, the instructional technology role, had a great ITF in my district and kind of encouraged me to move into that. And then um, got my master's in that field and then I had the fortunate opportunity to move to the central office here in Rowan Salisbury about four years ago. Um, and so that's kind of where I fell into the integrations, instructional technology, coaching role uh, that I am now and, and now uh, having the opportunity to transition to, to DPI. Um, uh, Go Open is not something necessarily new to me, but I would say that it is of the two uh, programs that I'm going to be supporting, the one that I need to learn the most about in order to help LEAs be the most effective. Um, so that's kind of one in my conversations with Carrie and Rob. Um, in planning this meeting, I was like, I, I really want it to be more about me asking questions and getting feedback from you guys than it me about having answers and delivering content. Because I do think, um, you know, I shouldn't come into a role or anyone should come into a new role with, I know all the answers and I'm going to solve all your problems because that's, to me, that's not good leadership. Um, so, it, like Rob said, it, it's going to be transitional. It's going to be relatively short for us today. Um, but I want it to be a nice conversation and, and give some valuable feedback if you don't mind. Um, with that, I'm going to let Carrie introduce herself before we jump into the slides. Um, Carrie. Thanks, Corey. I hope my sound is working properly today. Um, I had some technical issues earlier. Um, so, my name is Carrie Robledo, and I am a digital. Um, I'm a DIF, so basically an ITF for Moore County Schools. And starting October 18th, I'll be the Central Region Educator on Loan at DPI. Um, and so I've been working in Go Open for a couple of years now, setting lessons up, our engineering thread, um, getting that kicked off in Moore County. So I'm excited to share with y'all, answer any questions you might have, and support you with Go Open. Awesome. And Carrie has been a, a, a great help for me learning uh, in preparation of, for this and, and, and I'm sure was going to be a continue to be a resource for me. Um, I, I just have a few slides for us and I'll go ahead and, and share my screen here. Uh, we want this one. All right. Um, the first thing is just kind of some introductions from you guys um, and I've already linked that spreadsheet there. Um, I just kind of an initial thought would be a, it would nice be nice for me to have a point of contact for you all in, in your LEAs. And if, if we want to grow and continue this reach of go open, I think we need to have some sort of, um, uh, distribution group or a Google group that we can call on each other and have reference and point of contact. So if you feel comfortable and don't mind sharing your contact information with me, um, that link is, is there for you guys to, to utilize. Um, 
in addition, my my contact as well as Carrie's is in that top row. Um, but you know, if you want to see my pretty face again, there it is on this slide. Um, and that's my DPI email that I will eventually uh, come to know and love. Um, the the main thing is, like I said, I just wanted to get some feedback from you guys. So, and Carrie and I were talking about this in conversation about planning this. Um, I wanted to to have a way to kind of gather that. So. Uh, and some people always don't necessarily feel comfortable coming off mute or having that conversation and vocalizing what's going well or what's not going well. So we wanted to give some uh, anonymity if possible. So we made this you know little padlet here, um, and we just kind of made some categories of. And of course, it has to be fall themed. Carrie and I talked about this. Our our desire for it need to be thematically appropriate, um, as it is October the first. Um, so, if you don't mind, I'm just going to give you guys a few minutes to kind of talk about what are some success, what are some barriers to access, ideas for appealing to more users, and then anything that may not fall under those three categories. And yes, I love a good pun. So, so sorry if you find those annoying. Um, that's just my jam. So, um, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to kind of just um, access that link there. And um, then I would like to have a conversation about that um, once we get some data in there. And I'll stop sharing my screen. And I can put the direct link to the Padlet in the chat if that makes it easier. Oh, it's Kim. <laughs> I actually just want to speak about this and step it up there. But um, I feel what happens with GoEd and with us is that I think that teachers have a full plate and they think there's just so many resources out there and so much to do. And they got teachers pay teachers. and you know, um, just all this stuff. And I feel like they just don't see what's right in front of them. So I think a barrier for us is that we're just trying to get it out there and we do have it on our NCA cloud apps when they log in, um, but they they don't see it. So I think our issue is just trying to like ideas for, I would like to see know some ideas for how to get it to be more appealing to our users um, because I do find it very, very useful and I have not actually, as a teacher, used it myself because I, did, I didn't, I felt like I didn't even know about it when I was teaching. So um, I'd like to hear some ideas on how to, you know, maybe promote it a little bit better than what we do. We do have a tech tips newsletter that we send out. So we try to, um, and that goes out bi-weekly. So we try to advertise there. Um, we've just added two more um, specialists to our team. We had only two, so we were splitting 14 schools with two. <laughs> Two people, um, but now that we have four, we're at schools more often. So I feel like that's the way we can promote more. And I'm trying to send out emails like spotlight emails and stuff like that. So I'm going to add that to the ways that I'm trying to get it out to is like spotlight emails and our newsletter. But I'd like to hear some more ideas on how other people are, are trying to get teachers to use it. Yeah, I would agree. You know, sometimes you know it, it's a it's a great thing that we have a lot of applications within inside of um nc ed cloud but sometimes it's like what are all these icons and what do they do because unless you're just one of those teachers that like i'm gonna just click on this and see what it does you may not may not know what that is um but i would agree and i, and I think it sounds like you guys are getting it closer to teachers because i think one of the things that i and, and carrie and i have talked about is you know the communications may be going out to your supers or your district office personnel and that might be reaching down to principals but how are we able to reach that target audience which is the direct teacher or really that plc um and i would ask jen do you feel like that your teachers are willing to to upload resources or are we are you are you just struggling or I shouldn't say struggling but working towards getting them to access it just as a whole first rather than uploading resources yeah i just want to make them aware of it and which we have but yeah i think the just going in and looking is the first initial thing and then i mean they'll if they'll pay for something like i said on like something like teachers pay teachers and this is free access you know resources um i feel like they would once we i think they need to be just educated i almost want us think I need to do a PD on the open, you know what I mean? Um, just because I'm actually doing PDs about every third week in the month with my schools. Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking maybe that I would probably need to do a 
you know, I have them for 30, 45 minute PD on to open and just show, show it to them and let them explore it. So that's an idea too. And I'd like to share like just a thought, um, kind of like where we're at, because like our digital teaching and learning team um, in Moore County, we're using it, but we've got to get like our curriculum and instruction team on there too. So I think if we can start there as well, and like, hey, like our math specialists, our ELA people, like this is what's available. And so when they're doing their PD too, like let's go on and look for, you know, these fraction standards, what can we find? Here, so we are all using the same communication. We're all sharing the same resource. Um, I think that would help get the word out too with what's available. And I could spotlight it, like I said, with emails. I could say, okay, hey, math teachers, here's some resources, or just actually instead of everybody as a whole, I can just spotlight certain subject areas and say, hey, there, look at these resources and go open um, for math. Or, English, you know, reading or whatever. But like Corey said too, yeah, that's a great idea, Jen. Like with the PLC level, just getting in there like, okay, so this is what eighth grade of the standards you're working on. Let's see what we can pull um, from Go Open because we really want them to start looking there first, right? Before they go to Teachers Pay Teachers or, yeah. So like, let's see what's been vetted, what's been, you know, what other teachers are using um, in our state. So I think that's a good idea too. Just a, a question I have, Jan, do you feel like having some professional development template themed, canned, whatever you wanna call it, that could be shared across for you guys to leverage and utilize, would that be something that would be beneficial? Oh yeah, I think that would be. That would be good. Instead of us creating, our, you start talking about you guys creating something that can be shared. Yeah, yeah, I think that would be useful, helpful. Thanks. And actually, I want to say we have micro credentials for Go Open now. We our county has micro credentials that teachers can enroll in and get credit for, and we have a Go Open micro credential. Um, actually, I just made some. That has it's like a pathway, and I didn't even think about that. But that when it, when I think about spotlight, and I need to remember that. But micro credentials are a good way to advertise it too. And I can throw in the chat or find um, there's the link there in Nesis. There are the Go Open professional development opportunities as well, and so they can go in there and receive. I think they're like point one CEU credits. So I'm always like pushing those out. Um, to teachers as well, so that's something to consider. Yeah, yeah Carrie, yeah, they're, they're in these. Sorry, they're in they have the they DLC have. credits. And actually, I think that's where we got their information for our micro credentials because we typically do it through our county. And I believe we got you guys send it to us, and we were able to put it in a micro credential, since that's where our our um, staff usually goes to for our teachers. For credit. Other thoughts, comments, and ideas. Does anyone have any, any successes that they would like to share? Um, maybe that's not on the Padlet, but that you've seen, like if you're using it in your district. Um, I did throw on there, like the, the North Carolina Zoo has added some really cool um, resources and videos out there. Um, we take for granted that we live at 20 minutes from Asheboro, so we can go to the zoo anytime. Um, but not all of our students are that lucky, right? So I really, really like those resources for our students that live in the east or west. And then they're working on getting additional outside agencies um, to provide lessons and resources as well. So that's exciting. Well, let me ask a question um, just out of curiosity, and I don't know if this would help or hurt. Do you believe that it would help if we kind of did virtual sessions into your county with just your county to help with Go Open instead of the statewide approach at this point? Yeah, I just worry sometimes, even with me doing PD at schools, it's kind of hard to get them to, like, I don't require the PD when I go to my schools. Um, just to get them to come out, but you are you saying like a live virtual 
Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly, would, yeah. Would that be that something be that something maybe we should maybe look we at for go, go open, open uh, as a uh, try as a try to bullshit. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. I just uh, I was worried about participation, but we could um, we could offer it and see. I could talk to my director and see what she how she what she thinks about it. She's our director of professional development for the county. And I'm not saying we would do that. It's just an idea that I had based on the conversation I'm hearing. But I would like to find out her opinion on that too, though. That I think because um, we we haven't been doing anything virtually through lately. I mean, of course, when we were totally quarantined and not in school at all, we would do virtual um, county meetings, but we haven't actually done that since we've been face to face. Here you go. I'm going to throw in the chat a link to a PD that I did for NC Bold over the summer. Um, and so on slide 20, it's just um, a basic overview of Go Open. But on slide 20, there are like the latest um, courses in NESIS. Um, so I'll put that here in the chat for y'all. Feel free to copy it and make it your own. And I have links to other resources as well for you. And then I will I will pose another question. Anything that you feel like that would be beneficial that you would like to share as I move into this position to things you've liked, things that you haven't liked, um, just general feedback as a whole. Because um, like I said, I, I, I do tend to be a person who likes to ask questions as opposed to just pretending that I know all the answers. All right as long as my wait time can hold out. Um, so I'm gonna take your silence as everything's perfect and great. Um, no, I, I, I'm gonna do everything that I can to make this a successful resource and, and share it out as much as we can with our teachers across the state. Um, I will just give one last opportunity if there's anything you guys want to say, share or otherwise, but other than that, I don't believe in holding you in, into a meeting for the sake of having a meeting. Um, Rob, Carrie, anything that you would like to, to yeah. add? No, I, I think that Carrie and Corey have done a really good job. And Carrie, I, I want to thank you while I'm on this meetup. You have been a blessing um, since Pam left. And I am very appreciative of you helping with this transition. And we look forward to having you come up here. Thank you. Um, the last thing I would say is please remember this is a transition. So this was, we knew this was going to run a little short. Next time it'll be a uh, little, little, he's had six weeks in, he'll have his, you know, feet under him a little bit and, and then we will change the format or he may decide to keep this format and make it very much question and answer and say, here's what we're going to do this time and, and let me help you with these topics. So we will work on that, but we hope that you come back next time as we'll have a more formal setting with, with more objectives once Corey gets in. We just appreciate you being here today and giving the feedback that I am looking at because I believe those are all things we need to do. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and comment on working with this. One of the things we are doing is we are actually working with our own CNI teams up here at DPI, as well as outside vendors to help get more resources and go open. But I think that what we might need to do is have our own go open newsletter, I think is what I am leaning towards right now. I think that'll help. That is its own separate entity that we can help really push this on. So um, I'll talk with Corey about that next week when he gets here. But I look forward to talking with you all again soon. And thank you very much for being here. And as I also want to thank all the DPI staff on here. Home-based meetups are a long week for all of us. And I appreciate them always jumping in and being willing to help and add to the conversations. So thank you very much, everybody. And if you guys on there have any final thoughts, please let me know. Everybody have a great day. Thank you. Bye now.